So if you've ever needed to sort through the event logs, you know that it's a pain. I mean, you're probably familiar with filtering, but even then, if you've got a bunch of computers to look at, it's going to take forever. So what I wanted to do is walk you through using PowerShell to build a report that pulls user logon activity from a list of computers from Active Directory. First thing I add here, I'm going to be looking at two different event IDs, 4647, 4648. 4648, of course, is an explicit logon explicit being when a username and password is specified. And 4647 is the log off event. So I'll assign those to the event IDs variable. And then to get the events that match those event IDs out of the security log, this is how you would do that using get win event and the filter hash table parameter. So in this case, the ID can be an array, which is what we've got above since we're using specifying two IDs. So running this line gives us a huge list of information so all the events in the security log that matches that. So the next thing I want to get into is how to parse that for events that we actually want. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign all those events to the events variable. And then if we look at the message of the event, we can see this, this is all the information we need. It's just in one big string. So what we could do is we could write regex um, pulling the information we need out of there. That's what I did at first when I was doing this. But we could also look at the properties property of that event. You see here that we've got all that same information already. So no need to use regex in this case. If we look at specifically the index five of that properties property, that's going to be the user. The only problem here is that that index of five is only specific to this ID. So 464 in this case. And so if we look at one that has 4647, you can see the message is a little shorter. And so in this case, let's look at the properties. You can see that the user will be properties index of one. So if we run this line here, 45, looking at index one of that properties, there is a user. So we'll have to do something a little different for each event. So that's where I'm introducing a switch statement here. So you can see I'm actually switching the event ID. So when it's 4647, the account's going to be properties index of one, domain index of two, type log off, and then 4648. Uh, the account index five, domain index six, and type equals logon. So then I'll use that data to build a PS custom object uh, with the name of the computer. And you can see in this case, it's just the local computer name until we get to the remoting section here in just a second. And then I'm also storing the time. And then there's the account domain and type that we set in our switch statement. So if we run this for each loop, we get all of that data from the local computer that we're on. So you can see we've got the name of the computer, the time, the account name. In this case, it's just the computer name and then the domain. So this is the domain that I'm working on. So we want to be able to reuse that. So let's build it as a function. So I've got a function set up here. I'm calling it get 80 user activity report specifically because I'm designing it to accept pipeline input that is an Active Directory computer object. So you can see that I've got value from pipeline by property name equals true for my first and only parameter called name. And giving it an alias of computer name just to make it a little clear that it's supposed to be a computer name. So here in my begin block, I've got the two event IDs from before. And then this first get win event, that's the same command from before, but you can see this time on line 85, I'm specifying a computer name. And that's going to get the name of the computers that are passed to it. And then for each of those events, I've got my switch statement again, same thing from before. And my PS custom object, the only difference here is for the computer name, I'm using the name variable. So this is the name that is passed to the commandlet. So we'll go ahead and reload this into our session. Here line 114, we can just specify a computer name. And you can see I'm also piping it to format table because remember from before, I listed everything out, table just makes it look nicer. And so here for this local computer, it just it finds everything. So we specified the computer using the computer name parameter. But we can also pipe output from get80 computer to get80 user activity report. And so here line 116, I'm doing a get80 computer and looking at all of my computers. If you have an environment with a lot of computers, I would not recommend doing this and instead using a filter or the search base. But in this case, I don't have a lot of computers. So here's what that looks like. And it'll take a second to run. So there you can see we've got JK110, computer 001, computer 002, and computer 003. So the last thing, if you wanted to export that information and deliver it to somebody, 
for some reason. You can do that, of course. So I'm going to define a, an export path here. So I've got a to user report dot CSV line 118. And then I'm piping get80 computers to my get80 user activity report and then piping that to export CSV specifying my export path. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And then as soon as it finishes up, we will look at that CSV file. And you notice there for some of the computers in Active Directory that it's getting an RPC server is unavailable. That just means that those computers are offline. So uh, let's look at that CSV file. All right, so you notice this opened in, in Notepad. This is just because I don't have a, a spreadsheet software installed on here. If you've got Excel, it'll open Excel or you know whatever you've got. So this is just the same output we got from before, uh, but here you, you could send it to a manager, you could send it to your boss, you know whatever you need to do with it. And CSV format is great for sharing. So that is how you use PowerShell to build an Active Directory user activity report, specifically looking uh, for logons and logos from a list of computers from Active Directory.